How we doing? Yes. I am happy to be back. I did just go on tour with Dave Chappelle doing 17,000 people in arenas, and now I'm in a room with 40 of you motherfuckers, and I feel, I feel just the same. So glad to see all y'all here. Beautiful front row. Look at you, we got couples over here. I got to travel to some places in the country I ain't been in a while. Like, uh, I went to the Midwest, and I went to the South. Any y'all from the Midwest have been to the South recently? Yeah, yeah, here's the thing. I, I think I found my people in the Midwest and the South. Not because we relate on, like, you know, political issues or nothing like that, but because it's, uh, it's a thicker people down there. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a, in California, we're a, little, we're a little frail. It's a thicker people out there, and they are, they are accepting of me. Like, for instance, I am shaped like a middle-aged lesbian, and when I go <laughs> to places like that, I feel good. Like, for instance, I, I went out there, right? And I was in Ohio. I was looking at all the people, and I didn't see one thigh gap in the whole state. <laughs> Not one thigh gap. And I'm pretty sure that corduroys are outlawed in certain counties for fear of fire. So... <laughs> but I was, I was out there looking at all these thick-ass people, and it angered me, because back during the pandemic, I lost 75 pounds. I shed all this weight. Don't clap because I'm pissed off that I lost all that weight. I could have not did all that shit. I could have just took my fat ass to fucking Indianapolis and been fine about it. <laughs> no, I didn't do that. I'm back in L.A. A California. We got Californians in here. People born and raised. You from California? Where are you from in California? Here. Here? L.A.? Is, do you feel it's expensive? Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's... <laughs> That was one thing I did like about that middle of the country in the South. Shit was cheap. Out here, shit is expensive. Like, did you know that eggs is at cocaine prices right now, California? <laughs> did you know that? Did y'all did y'all hear the news? Eggs is at cocaine prices. I don't know where you from, but here, cocaine is about 200 an eight ball. So that's about 200 for 12 eggs. That's a lot of money for eggs. And, and you know, I didn't know about it. I didn't have no idea about this shit. And my friend, he's very worried about the world. He came to my house, and I was cooking food, and he looked in my fridge, and he saw my eggs. He said, oh, you must be balling. You balling. You out here buying cocaine price eggs, nigga. Look at it, man. You need, yeah, them eggs is cocaine price. I was like, what are you talking about? They cocaine price. People gonna be sucking dick for eggs in a minute, man. <laughs> he was worried. And I had to calm him down, of course. I had to calm him down. I calmed him down. I said, man, you gotta chill. You gotta relax. Look at the big picture. And as I did that, I looked at the eggs and I said, fam, if people gonna be sucking dick for eggs, I mean... <laughs> I make a mean omelet. What the fuck are you talking about, nigga? <laughs> Shit. And I don't trip off prices. I never trip off prices because I keep it real American in my household. I don't trip off prices because I steal. Does anybody else... <laughs> Does anybody else feel that patriotic that they steal? Like, I'm... <laughs> right? Am I, mean, am I the only one using the self-checkout as a two-for-one? Am I, am I doing it wrong? Am I supposed to stack I'm not supposed to stack them? I don't know. I just... I just feel we all are law-abiding citizens to a certain extent, right? Some of us break the law a little bit, and I feel if I pay my taxes, I should be able to steal a little bit, all right? I'm not, not trying to run a Ponzi scheme and put you in the poor house, take your retirement fund. All I'm saying is I should be able to steal shit. Like, for instance, if I go to Target and I spend $150, uh, these sunglasses is on the house. I don't know... <laughs> What's the problem? You, a child made these for 10 cents. Why are you trying to have morals now, Target? <laughs> Fuck out of here. Anybody here in love? Is this, is this your love? That's your love? How long y'all been together? Five years. That's good. You answer. Normally, the dude looks at the woman, and she starts to answer, and he finishes. Like, yeah, yeah, five years. That's, just, that's what five years. Have you, uh, in the five years since you've been together, have you ever been complimented in a way to change your life? Like, for instance, has she ever called you beautiful? <laughs> nah, you had to think about that too long. No, no, because that's a very instant answer. Any man in here has been called beautiful, clap your hands. If you've been called beautiful by, look, look how he sit with his head up. He clapping like, yes, slow clap. My dick grew three inches. That's what it does for you. Being called beautiful fucking changes your life, all right? I'm, t I'm dating somebody, and they did it to me, and I didn't know what the fuck to do. I was, I was, I was flabbergasted. <laughs> the shit was changed me. You know, as a matter of fact, what we gonna do right now, I'm gonna change your life. I want you to call him beautiful right now, all right? This is what we're gonna do. Look at him. No, not like that. That's weak. Don't do it like that. 
I'm trying to get you another five years. I want you to turn and look at him. All right, turn and look at him. Turn your body and look at him. And I want you to grab him by his face like this. Look at my hand. You see how my hand is? Grab him by his face, front way, like that. Like you chastising him. Like, just, just look at him. Look at him. Don't look at me. Look at him. And I want you to do your teeth. Go keep holding his face. Look at him. Through his teeth. Hold his face. And look at him. Look at him and say, you are fucking beautiful. Do it right now. Oh, my God. relationship dynamic. Look at y'all. I'm just saying, changes. Look, if you ain't ever been called beautiful, fellas, you need to get that experience. It'll fuck your whole world up. I was with the person I'm with, and they hit me with it on some real chill shit. That We was just chilling, watching TV, and they just started looking at me. And you know how you see somebody looking at you? And you're like, what are they looking? You look at them, and they looked at me, and they said, man, you beautiful. Did you know that? And I didn't know how to accept it. I was, I was a, I'm a toxic masculine, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a real nigga, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was, I got mad. I was like, what the fuck you calling beautiful? <laughs> Shit, ain't nothing beautiful over here. Might be a fine ass nigga, but ain't nobody beautiful over here. Ain't no butterflies in here. Pop real nigga to the end to the brim, bitch. Talking about beautiful. I was in it. And they stopped me. They stopped me and did my face just like that. Stopped me and grabbed my face and said, I said you're fucking beautiful. <laughs> what you think beautiful about me? <laughs> hey, yo, my name is Chris Riggins. Y'all have a great night. Thank you. Keep it going for Chris Riggins, everyone.